everybody and welcome back to iRacing. It's been a little bit, but we are back. Not only are we back, we are here with the AI. Yes, we are doing AI racing here with the Gen 7, next gen, whatever you want to call it. The NASCAR Cup Series. And it's just like we're back in NR03 because we are here with the AI at iRacing Super Speedway most famously known as Coca-Cola Super Speedway, of course. Uh, this track added to the service because Coca-Cola came on board to sponsor the eNASCAR series, uh, but with no Coca-Cola branding. Um, supposedly, they were going to fix that. It was just to get it in the service at first, but I guess, uh, I guess not. But anyway, we got okay, 25 guys. lap here race go. here with the AI starting in the back behind Cole Custer. And green flag is out. We're racing at iRacing Super Speedway. AI got a much better jump off the line than we did. Try to sneak into the draft here of Cole Custer now. One of the things about this track back on NRO3 is there was no restrictor plates. So the cars could go as fast as they possibly could, which led to insane speeds. Now, as far as I'm aware, it is the same thing on here. I know it is in some of the other cars we've raced uh, during actual races or during week 13. Not 100% sure if that is the case here. Uh, it kind of seems like it, considering we're already up to 192 down the back straightaway. As they go three wide into the corner here, starting to get back into the draft here. Uh, we've got Daniel Suarez up ahead of us. The AI pack I'm using is... Um, the Daytona 500 pack, so you'll see cars like Kaz Grala, uh, Jacques Villeneuve, stuff like that. It's people you don't typically see, as we have now caught the back of this pack here. Greg Biffle there in front of us. We're going to go down to the inside lane here behind the 15. Whoa! We got a wreck. Big checkup into the corner. And I do believe we got damage from that. Did get a 4x at least. Is the AI checked up big time heading into turn one? I'm not sure what happened. I'm thinking something happened up ahead, but we definitely have damage because we are not going as fast as we were. Outside. So AI, you know, obviously still getting their kinks worked out. It is still a relatively new thing in iRacing, racing, and then especially for the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, just added for this season. So, uh, you know, they're still being worked on, and with all the tracks in iRacing, especially tracks that aren't NASCAR tracks, it can be a little That's hard fine. to teach them how to drive. So, uh, you know, we're still working on getting there as we're going to push Bubba Wallace into the corner there, try to see if we can get past Bad Brad Kozlowski. Carlo. Of course, by the time I'm recording Still this, the time you're watching this, of course, Bubba Wallace currently driving the 45 for Kurt Busch. Clear inside. It looks like Ryan Gleaning has Grama or jockeying for the lead here. And so it looks like we do have pretty big Carlo. damage. Whoa! And pushing uh, the 23. Interestingly enough, completely caused us to just spin out there. Uh, luckily, when you're driving an AI car, you can throw a caution. So we're going to do that, and I think we're going to have to uh, tow the car back because we, uh, we've killed the engine. So we'll be right back. So while I'm getting towed back to the pits here, I did want to take a quick look at what happened that caused this checkup, and it actually comes from Bubba Wallace. You're going to see here heading into turn one. He Actually, it starts with Noah Gregson. Noah Gregson comes down, makes contact with the two, the 42, and that causes Bubba here to then fly up the track. Cody Ware absolutely destroyed in that. Um, so that explains a lot of what happened there. And then going ahead here to our incident with Bubba Wallace, you can see we're just pushing him down the straightaway here. And then for our incident uh, with Bubba Walsh, you can see we're pushing him down the straightaway here. We go into the corner, 
And the touch from him causes him to go below the yellow line. It, the AI not very uh, adept, I guess, to the uh, pushing from the player. So that still needs to be worked on. So we're getting ready to go back green here. Um, you may have, you may be able to see the field are really bunched out. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why. Um, I don't know if another caution has to be called for that to get fixed or what, but I haven't even seen the pace car actually. So what happened is I delayed the restart. Black flag, we'll need to come into the pits to serve it. As you can see, all the black flags cleared there. There's the pace car actually. But uh, I went around the field to unlap myself, so to do so, I had to delay the green by a lap, and I don't know if that's what caused them to be so spread out or what, but as you can see, there is a pretty big gap in this field as we restart once again at the tail end of the field here. Maybe they're a little more spread out. We can get a, more of a race going here. It looks like a lot of these guys may have damage or something because they are very slow. We are just plowing right through them. Three and four wide. Now we're back behind Greg Biffle here. Get underneath the Biff here. We've got BJ McLeod in front of us. And Joey Lagana. Outside. That momentum from the high side. They have a much stronger draft right now. We're going to go to come down to the inside, block us off. So we're going to run right in line behind him there. We're going to contact with him there. We're going to go down to the inside. Don't really want to be behind the AI last time. It looks like the 15 and 17 are hooking up. They're starting to drive away from us here. Cody Ware, the big check up there. We're going to go to the high side here. Still there. Inside Clear line, the their momentum's dying here. We're going to have Landon Castle, who's a lap down here, now pushing us here. This is all the battle for 30th. There's a lot of momentum died. died there with BJ McLeod. We're going to go outside. down to the inside of David Reagan. Try to push BJ McLeod. It's Justin Haley. Heads for the pit lane. Wonder if the AI had another checkup, because there is a car running very slow down at the bottom of the track. There's Eric Jones, as Haley has gone into the pits. And again, I think that's the thing, is they're still working on the AI, it's especially at several of these tracks. And especially with a new car when it's added, like the NASCAR Next Gen car, I think it's going to take a while for those things to get, uh, you know, worked out and stuff, but I'm just so glad we have the next gen cars Outside. here in iRacing finally to do with the AI because it is nice especially when you don't have well for Hold one we don't line. currently have a game with the next gen content um, NASCAR inside. Rivals or whatever it's called Far is not high. out at the time of this recording Still as well there. as the fact the Clear closest high. thing you have to a NASCAR game at the time NASCAR 21 Ignition is as we all know and as I've played on this channel so you've seen it you know for a fact is a hot pile Outside. of garbage this huge momentum Still with that high line. The AI can really hook up, it Don't seems you like. You're getting a good train here. It'll be interesting to see as they patch the AI Outside. and work with it, how that'll work here on these super there. speedways, especially on a track like Outside. iRacing uh, Super Speedway, which, let's Still be honest, there. is so incredibly different from Outside. any track we've ever uh, been to in real life or thought of. And the absolute closest thing I can think of to this would be Tiburon, which uh, was in the NASCAR Thunder Games. But, man, it seems like if you are not in the right moment at the right time, the AI are just going to go flying past you. Michael McDowell going so slow on the high side there. Push, car outside. Still there. You can see, once again, we're just getting steady. destroyed by these cars in the high line here. We have no momentum on the bottom for whatever reason. It's like it, you take the problem that iRacing has with its grip and just multiply it in terms of uh, where the grip is. So the car actually got a bit loose on us there in the uh, 
<laughs> in the corner there. We'll flying past steady. guys here that are on the inside. Keep it steady. Whoa, big check up into the corner. Past Ty Dillon here. And I think that's Still the issue. There. The AI just have this ebb and Still flow there. problem as whoa! <laughs> you may have seen in the mirror there. Christopher Bell making big contact there with Cindric, but it looks like everything is okay. Is we still got 12 laps to go here. We've actually worked our way up in hit the wall a little bit. We've actually worked our way up here, but we're gonna still fall there. back again because we got that little bit ahead of the AI. And now we're actually kind of stuck on Brad there. So, another issue currently with the AI is it does do the thing that uh, happens in a lot of games uh, with the AI. It's a very hard balancing act for developers when making AI of being, they have, to, they have a fine line to walk in terms of being responsive to the player. And while they aren't directly trying to hit you, it's, they are very much in their line and don't seem to be too aware of the player. The gap in front is so that is something they still need to work on um, to make it feel just that little more realistic and also to not cause issues like this. Uh, but luckily our car is drivable this time. Uh, we'll go back to the pits. Luckily we got, what did it say? 255 fast pairs remaining. So we'll go to the pit road again once the pit lane is open and uh, throw on some fresh tires, repair the car for which should be a final 10 lap sprint to the finish here at iRacing. Okay, Des, halfway home. Fuel looks good, B32. So it appears that it was an issue, I guess, with delaying the green, or it was just a one-time thing, because we are back to uh, a nice tight double file here as we hit the Geico restart zone. And we are back underway here for a nine lap sprint to finish this video off showing some highs and lows with the AI in there. Actually, it hasn't even been a week at the time of recording. It is only uh, Monday at the time I'm recording this, so the AI technically has not been out for a week yet for the next-gen car. Outside. Um, Hold your line. So, you know, I'll continue Still to work there. on it. It's not like I'm worried. This is iRacing we're talking Still about. There. There. They are three We're and four hard. wide up ahead of us. And there's a Outside. huge checkup here. Still there. And it's happened We're again. Hard. Okay, guys, the next car is down. And we'll throw a caution for that one. That would have been a caution in real life. Yeah, the AI, honestly, might be best for them not to get jumbled up as McDowell. Jeez, McDowell. Slams on the brake. The AI want to get single file so fast. Um, it's kind of an issue they have as well. So we'll try again here. Learning a lot today, aren't we? All right. We have five laps to go here at the line. Five more laps of the AI. Trying to kill themselves, probably. As we go. Yes. No. Yes. So... I think I just need to back off the corner. It seems like it may be an issue that is We're specific outside. to Far this high. track with the banking and everything the way it is. So Blue my guess down. is this Clear doesn't outside. happen at a Daytona Hotel they go, or at least I hope it doesn't. But uh, yeah, hopefully that's something that gets fixed. And uh, again, as long as this isn't an issue in other tracks, I think Still you're fine. There. It's just an eye racing super speed race with the AI. Clear, clear yeah, I think you're good. But I think it's something to do with the fact of this huge gap in speed, as you see. With some being fast, some being slow. As Still whoa, there. Kyle Busch Go goes for a spin. Still there. In the middle, three, and I guess I don't have manual or uh, automatic clear cautions clear. on because we're still going. I'm not Outside. going to throw a caution because I'd like to actually race the last lap here. We're gonna go with. Uh, who is this again? Eric Jones. <laughs> Forgot who drove the 43 for a split second. Down to the extreme inside here. But that really does not work out. The AI seem to get into this 
Uh, three wide formation up front, and then a little more single file here in the back. Live past Michael McDowell. Clear low. Being a huge run here. Um, Blaney try to give a push to the 43. Whoa, 42 came out of nowhere. Outside is clear. Just fall in line here in the corner. And I guess go up high because that's where... It's kind of like... Um, that cheat mode from NASCAR Dirt to Daytona where the high, it's kind of like the high line has that much of a, an effect here on the draft. I wonder if it's because of the fact there aren't restrictor plates or anything on the car, anything to slow them down like that. Our outside. The AI really training right there, just getting into a big conga line there. We had to really get off the gas there with the momentum we gained heading into the corner, but that just kills us down the straightaway here. I guess we just got to go somewhere with the momentum, just go for it here. Because we are currently behind a lot of lap cars here. Every time I go into the corner, Inside. I am just afraid of the AI wrecking itself. Seems like we got a good run here on the inside. There's Still Kevin there. Harvick driving his old car here. Still there. Here we go. Now there's enough cars on the inside lane. We had something we could do. Go way down to the inside here. I'm going to need Christopher Bell. Keep it steady. Here we go. Bubba door outside here as we head to turn one. Still there. Still there. Still there. The AI just ride each other's bumpers. Keep it steady. Uh, I think a little too unrealistically. And I think that causes this issue with their draft because their draft is like 100% perfect. There is, you know, just this huge difference in what can happen here is ooh, four wide here heading Outside. into the corner. Don't like it. Backing out, backing out. More contact up ahead. Looks like Still two there. Stuart Haas cars getting into each other. AI checks up coming Still out of the there. corner here. Keep it steady. White flag, Still last there. lap here at iRacing. Clear inside. P29 at the line. Wreckers are checkers. Checkers are wreckers. Whatever the saying is. is. Whoa, that looked like Jacques Villeneuve got extremely loose down on the inside lane there. And there's just no momentum for us. The AI don't want to work with you either. Uh, that seems to be another issue. The AI just don't want to work with you. They'll go with other AI cars and just leave you in the dust like this. So maybe they can uh, screw each other up here heading to the corner again. It doesn't really look like they will. See if we can get any momentum here to catch back up. But it's not looking like it. So not a bad first attempt with the AI. They still have a lot more work to do, of course, as I've said. But that'll be the checkered flag here at iRacing Super Speedway. I am interested to see what it is like at Daytona or Talladega. Maybe we'll go ahead and try that in a little bit. But it's P32. Had to use a couple of fast repairs, but we did get to the finish. As we are going to make our way through the AI here on the cool down lap. Woo! There they are. I almost got to it. I almost got through, but then uh, got closed at the last second, so. That'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more iRacing content. Of course, the new season starting. Plenty of action going to come your way on the channel here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.